Father, we thank you, Lord, for that opportunity to just realize, Lord God, that we're so precious in your sight. No matter what the world have told us who we are, no matter what we think about ourselves, well, thank you, Lord. You look at us as precious as silver and gold. Thank you, Lord. And this is the reason why we're here today. Because of your love. Not because we love you, but because you loved us first. And because of that love, Lord God, that smelted our hearts, Lord. And then we would declare from our lips, I love you, Father. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for today, this wonderful time together, Lord God. We shall bask in, in your word, Lord God, that, that we may be, Lord, we may be strengthened more, Lord God, and ignorance no longer will be with us, Lord God, because we shall study your word today. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity. I present myself to you right now. Use me, Lord, as your mouthpiece. Let nothing that comes from my own knowledge of what is good and evil come out of my lips. But let every word, Lord God, be the heartbeat from your heart. Thank you, Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Will you please turn to your right and then tell that person you're right, I speak Jesus in your life. And on your left, I speak Jesus in your life. Amen. Praise God. We may all be seated. Welcome, Welcome back, Papi. Welcome back, Mommy. You know, we're not supposed to be here. Yes. <laughs> we're not supposed to be here. We're, we're probably su we're supposed to be halfway there. Uh, uh, going to, to, to France and then, you know, uh, and then landing to uh, uh, Toronto. Oh, Toronto, huh? Uh, Toronto. And then going to Calgary. Uh, and I have so many plans in my mind. No, uh, uh, we have a meeting. Uh, I have, we have a reunion. We have, we've been planning this, our office mates, me and mommy. Our office mates before when we were still in the corporate world. I was still in the corporate world. We were planning this for more than a year. And the time is here. We are about to fly. I have so many things in my mind. Lord, I'm going to share you to my colleagues. We're about 30 plus. No, I'm going to share to you the goodness of God in my life. Because they know my life before. I've been with, we've been, uh, I was with them for 15 years. And they know who I, I am. Who I was now. I have so many plans. Pray, pray, Lord God, allow me, Lord God, to cross America so I can be with Pastor Ems, you know, and teach, and teach, and preach, mentor, and coach uh, our ACCI USA. These are my plans. But God's plan is different. God's plan is to speak to you personally. <laughs> You are special, grabi kayo. God did not allow, uh, allow us to fly because you are special. You're supposed to watch a video of what my preaching last week. But God says, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, no, tell your seatmate, do not sleep. I am here, it cost us a lot of dirhams. We lost so much dirhams because of you. But I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I'm here. Ano yun? You were saying? Nothing. 
Meron akong... Ang hirap talaga ng aking mga angels. You know, the, 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 the women in my life. You know? <laughs> Praise God. The only women in my life. Praise God. So I'm here today you know, to, to, to tell you to trust God more than your circumstance. You know, this is the essence of Romans 8, 28 and 29. We all know this verse. And we know. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, do you know? Really, do you know? <laughs> and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. If you love God, anything that happens to you, everything, just trust Him. Who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. That's the reason why God did not allow us to fly. Because from this day on, this time, many brothers and sisters will be born again. Your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your flatmates, your office mates, your family, people in the bus stop, in the elevator, they will all be born again because of you. Just listen. Amen? Amen? Just listen. I'm not going to preach today, but I'm going to teach. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm going to put on my teacher's heart. All right? So if you want to go out, mom, can I go out there? Yeah. Don't sleep. Don't allow the enemy to even miss a single message that I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share teach to you the basic of salvation. The basic of salvation. Why do we need to be saved? How are we to be saved? And then what next? You know, salvation is a free gift. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, it is a free gift. It's a grace. Salvation it's a free gift from God. It's a grace from God. Amen. But the thing is this. We have received the gift. But we did not open it. This is just the reason why people are still Christians, children of God, still live defeated lives. Have not opened the gift. This is the reason why Christians either stop growing or grow up slowly. Because you have not opened. You know, you're not so excited about it. You know, that's the problem with free, free gifts. That's the problem with free gifts. You know, you know somebody gives you a, a Bible for free. When it rains, it goes here. Right? But if you have bought it with a premium, it goes here. Yeah. That is what we miss out. Our, our, our salvation is free, but the premium is great. Yeah. It is the life, the life of, of, our, of God's Son given to us. That's the, the highest premium we have received. Salvation is not just free. It cost Jesus Christ his life. It cost the father the life of his son. It cost the father looking at how the sufferings of his son just to save you and me. So today we're going to look at, I'm going to introduce to you a new series. A new series. This will be a nine part series for so for the next for the next um, the next two months we're going to talk about this series amen uh, tell your seatmate don't miss a series do not miss a series amen I have today's today's series I am going to introduce to you is it called it is entitled I am saved. I am saved. Tell it to me. I am saved. I Come on, shout it. I am saved. I and then from your heart, ask God, what's next, please? Salvation is not just freeing. It's, it's not just bringing us to heaven. No. God has more, has more, the, more, more, than, more than that in his mind. 
And we need to learn that today. Amen? That's why some people are safe, safe, and seated waiting to die. Because when they die, they go to heaven. And that's it. Salvation is more than that. Amen? If you, you see, Matthew 28 is a mission given to us. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, on his last breath, he said, it is finished. His mission is done. But before he did that, he gave us a mission. That's why we are called co-missionaries. Co-mission. His mission now is entrusted upon you. Entrusted upon you. Tell you, see, ask your seatbelt, can you be trusted? Can you be trusted with the very life that Jesus Christ has given us? And I'm going to look at this you know, in, in, a, in a matter of minutes. I'm going to show you why. In Matthew 28, 19 to 20, he says, Therefore, those who are in the engineering, you know, you know where therefore is? Therefore, right? If you're into formulas, therefore, that means it's finality. Therefore, go and make disciples of the whole nation. Hindi niya sinai did not say go and bring people to church. He says go and make disciples of all nations. That's why we accept all nationalities here, not only Filipinos. If you are sitting with, with a non-Filipino, tell that uh, Filipino, I love you and I, I, I'm, I'm glad you're here with us. Come on, tell your, your non-Filipino seatmate. You are welcome in this place. You are loved in this place. You will be embraced in this place. Amen. Masakit pa rin ang kamay niya. And then he says, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you still believe that you're baptized in a church, ha, ignorance. God hates ignorance. You're not baptized in a, in, in a church. You're baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and in the Holy Spirit. And it says, teaching them to obey everything. In, in another version, it says, showing them what I have taught you. Showing them. And this is the, and surely, say it with me, surely. Wow, Jesus Christ promised this, surely. He says, I will be, I am with you always. Sabi mo sa pangit, that's your seatmate, God will never leave you. Sabi mo, iniwan ka man ang jowa mo, hindi ka iwan ni Lord. Hala? <laughs> Assuredly, Jesus Christ will not give you a UTI, umibig tapos iiniwan. You loved and yet, with all your heart and then left you. Dahil kailangan ko talaga English in yun, eh, no? <laughs> I have commanded you, and surely I'm always with you to the very end of the age. And that is a promise. So if you live for Jesus, He will always be with you. So if you disciple people, bring people to, to Jesus, He's always with you. Don't tell, you know, the enemy will zip your lips. Put fear in your heart. Put doubt in your mind so that you will never speak. I come against us now in Jesus' name. You have to speak about Jesus because we are entrusted with a mission. And to save souls. Amen? To save souls. Our anchor verse is this. An exciting anchor verse. And this is the hope of every Christian. He says, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world. Let me, let, let me change that uh, word preach. It will be shared to the whole world. Because only, not only preachers will share the gospel. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are a minister of the word. You are a minister of the word. And, and as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. Amen. Praise God. Now, the greatest service that we could ever give back to Jesus Christ, we have received, right? Now, how do we respond to that? Is to serve him, to give it back, to pay it forward, right? The greatest service that we could ever give back to Jesus is to be the extension of his loving heart. 
intention of your loving heart to save humanity from an eternal damnation in hell. To save man from this fallen world. Heaven is real. Hello? <laughs> Who wants to go to heaven? Yung iba ayaw. Hindi kay sigurada. Naligo naman kayo. Bet takot kayo magtaas ng kamay. Who wants to go to heaven? Come on. Come on. Who wants to go to heaven? Come on. You're right. Amen. Heaven is real, and, but hell is real. And amazingly, many know who Jesus Christ is and his gift of salvation, but sadly, many are still ignorant on how to embrace this precious gift. Many are ignorant. They have not yet opened this precious, precious gift. They still live in defeated lives, and they fail to live in freedom. Freedom from slavery. Freedom from sin and the cares of this world. Many are at a loss. You know, when I, let me just attest, okay? Can we, everybody close your eyes? Close your eyes. Amen. I need a witness uh, uh, who, who will be the witness. Beata, stand up. You will be the witness. Come, stand up. Just look at them, okay? Close your eyes, please. Who here will go to heaven when you die this second? Praise the Lord. Close your eyes. Close. Uh, um, open your eyes now. Now, Bea is a witness. Do you know that more than 70% did not raise their hand? More than 70% of us here did not raise their hand. You do not know if you're going to heaven, if you die. You know why? No, mayabang lang kasi yan, you know? No, you cannot. You cannot know. Why? No, mayabang yung mga nasasabi, pupunta sila sa langit. No? It's a haughty, it's a haughty thought. Haughty. Seryoso kayo sa ato. But this is something serious, huh? That's why Jesus, that's why God in Hosea says, you know, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. God gave us the scripture. He gave us the scripture. And the scripture has the answer. And this series right now will painstakingly talk about work on opening our hearts and minds until we can confidently say and unashamedly say that I am saved. Amen. And from your heart, ask, Pastor, Papi, what's next, please? Teach me. Amen? Yes. Are you someone who wants to really know about salvation? Yes. Amen? Do you want to know what's next? Yes. Yeah, and then complete this nine series. No, we are sinners saved by grace. For all throughout the nine, the nine, the, 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 this nine series, actually eight na lang, we're going to talk about Bible characters who are like me and like you. They were saved, but we're going to look at how they responded after salvation. I believe in my heart that if only everyone knows the basic of salvation, basic, why do we need salvation? Why do we have to be saved? How can we be saved? What, what does salvation does in my life? And what's next after we have received salvation? And this is the teaching right now. Amen? I might go a little far, a little, you know, at the at, at the at time because I am teaching right now. Amen? I'm not preaching. I'm teaching. Please bear with me. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay, is that okay with you? Kasi mahilig, nasanay po tayo. We're used to be 30 minutes tapos. Right? Nasanay tayo ganun, 30 minutes. Peace be with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now let's start with our journey. Can you journey with me? Can you travel with me? Okay, and, and have an open mind. Have an open mind. Today, part one of the series is entitled Salvation. Why, how, and what's next, please? Our anchor verse 
uh, will be about a conversation between a teacher of the law during that, a Jewish teacher of the law and a Pharisee and Jesus Christ. You see, Nicodemus, say it with me, Nicodemus. Ayan, hindi yung kapitbahay nyo. Nicodemus, you know, saw Jesus Christ, heard Jesus Christ preach. Nicodemus knew scriptures. He knew, he knows scripture. And he was like, you know, watching Jesus Christ, listening to his preaching, and then he was asking, who is this guy? A carpenter. Preaching. So powerfully. And not only that. And not only that. He saw him perform miracles after miracles. So Nicodemus, the, pre, the Pharisee, went to Jesus in the evening. Because he feared to be seen by his fellow Pharisees. And then he asked, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Listen to Jesus Christ, what, how he replied. She said, very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. And then he asked, how can someone be born again when they're old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Balbasarado pa naman siya. Paano siya papasok sa loob? Di ba? But Jesus answered them, very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless you are born of water and the Spirit. Tell it, say it with me, and the Spirit. Take note of that. Take note of that. They cannot, they, you see, he says, God, unless they are born of water and the spirit, flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. Take note of that. Amen? As we, as we progress. Now, he was a, a Jewish leader, but Nicodemus was a critical thinker. Hello? What's that critical thinking means? Critical thinking means it is the ability to analyze facts and form a judgment. It is a form of emotional intelligence, EQ. Hindi lang pala IQ, kailangan EQ. Amen. It's a form of emotional intelligence. Someone with critical thinking skills can think clearly and rationally when the situation demands it. Filipinos, we need to be critical thinkers para hindi po tayo so that we will not believe any false or uh, fake news. Think. Be critical thinkers. When I read the Bible, I, I am using my critical thinking. Why, Lord? Why did you do this? Why, Lord? Why did you, why, why did you allow these things? You know? Can you be a critical thinker like Nicodemus now? Amen? Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, critical daw. Ano yung kailang emergency? Be a critical thinker. The part one of this series is basically theological. Theological meaning, meaning, can I have later? <laughs> This is theological meaning. This is a basic teaching on salvation. The majority of us here are new, right? New from to, to ACCI. So some of you, some of you were uh, came from different denomination, different uh, doctrines, right? But we're here. We're here right now to just to uh, uh, to learn together. What scripture tells us, not what the pastors, not what the, t the television evangelists, not what the, what, what the daily bread or anything that you read, religious uh, books, but we are going to walk together and discover what the Bible talks about salvation. Is that okay? Amen? Amen. Okay, let's. So uh, you may want to ask, uh, because I'm going to teach you, share with you kingdom secrets. Hala, may secret. Mahilig yung mga marites. Oh, secret daw. Oh, secret daw, secret. But you know, the Bible says, if you seek with your heart, 
Secrets of the kingdom shall be revealed to you. Amen. And I tell you, if other pastors will hear, only if other pastors, well, other teachers will hear about this, I hope they will not judge me, they will not bash me, but they will have a critical thinking. Amen? Tanun nga sa akin, Pastor. Yan, Pastor. Papi. Hmm. How were you able to decide that these are clear and in context revelations from the Bible? How, 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 where did I uh, go to that place where, where I have decided this is it? Why? I'm going to share, this, to share with you. First, because I pray for understanding. I pray for understanding and the Holy Spirit's guidance. I really do pray. I ask, I pray. Next is that I, I seek and seek with all of my heart, with open spiritual eyes. I'm so excited. I'm, it's excited. It's exciting to read the Bible. I'm excited to discover new things from the Bible. In look at chapter 8, verse 10, his disciples ask, uh, uh, ask Jesus Christ, why in parables? Why do you speak in parables? You know why? Jesus Christ says, let those who have ears, let them hear. Because people gathered, gathered around him. They call, he called them crowds. You know, they, call, they come to Jesus. Why? Because they just wanted to know how he looks like. Some people just wanted to hear what he's about to say. Some people wanted to, wanted to, 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 um, uh, to see miracles. Some are in pain, wanted to experience miracles. But others are usisero. They just, just, they're just there. Oh, yeah, ano yun, ano yun, ano yun, ano yun, ano yun. And that's still true here. Right? Many of, I, uh, many of us who are here today, lalo na yung naaantok. They're not really seeking, ano? Naaantok. Pastor kasi pagod ako eh. Pagod, pagod ang physical mo. Busugin mo, spiritual mo. Damay, physical mo. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, sabi niya doon, why? because God, God is looking for people who are serious, who will, who will worship Him in spirit and truth, who really wants to know what the truth is. I seek and I seek with all of my heart. And then next, thirdly, I keep on asking. In my Bible, several Bibles, and after I have read one Bible, my Bible is madumi. You know, it's dirty with, with so many writings and, you know, you know, even when I was starting to read the Bible, I was using a highlighter. Halos in highlight ko lahat. Really? My first Bible, lahat na highlight. Kasi lahat ng importante na highlight lahat. I keep on asking. Kaya maraming questions. And then God answers me. And then, you know, so in Matthew says, keep on asking, keep on asking, keep on asking. And fourthly, I will be held accountable to God for every teaching that I share to his flock. You are entrusted upon our, my, our care. You are God's flock. You are not my flock. You are God's flock. Amen. Entrusted to me by God. Well, no, what I have discovered through the years of my, of my praying, seeking, and asking is that the Bible is such a huge puzzle. You don't read it chronologically. This is what happened. One, two, three, four, five. No, this is what happened. You know, I love to watch movies. Ha, oh, Pastor? Hmm. Talaga? Para makasalanan talaga pag nanonood ng sinin, no? You know? You know why I watch movies? You know why I watch movies? Why? Because movies are depictions of what's happening out in the world. That's why I look at it, you know. And that's why, you know, I, I, love, uh, I love movies like, uh, like NCS, you, you will like uh, uh, court cases, you know, court cases. You know, I, I look at things, ah, this is what happens, this is what happens, you know. You know, I put things together so that I will understand the whole. You don't watch a trailer in YouTube and you know the story. Right? You don't watch a trailer, a preview, and you already know the story. 
You know, that's why I watched the whole thing. The stories, you know, with puzzles, especially magaling magsulat, ano? Puzzles. This is the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, up to Revelation. A huge puzzle. You will understand it, you know? Ah, okay, I have a question. Okay, I, all right. Ah, this is the answer. Back until finally I will discover the full picture. Okay? Now listen, in the beginning. Let, so this being cleared out, let me start with this. In the beginning. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. Look at me now. In Genesis, after God created creation, he says, let there be, let there be, and there was. And God says, it's good. Amen. Let there be. You know, he was so, you know, he loves his creation. You know, it's good. He loves his creation. And then on the sixth day, he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Listen, us is plural. Who was God talking to that is like him? It's not the angels. Not the angels. And who was he talking to? Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. John, God allowed John to write this in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. He says, in the beginning was the? And the word was with? Yon. And the word was? God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Who is the word? Jesus. Come on, who is the word? Jesus. Come on, declare it. Who is the word? Jesus. Shout it. Who is the word? Jesus. It's Jesus. The name above all names. He was with God. God was talking, hey, Jesus, son. No, let's create man in our image and in our likeness. And you see what he did? No, when he created man. And then he wanted, he created Adam. The first living being. He prepared the, the garden of Eden. And then, and then this, uh, the water from the Euphrates started to flow. And then he was able to to get a mud, no? And then he created, he created an artwork. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are an artwork. Oh, siguro nung ginawa niya yung mga Pilipino, medyo napisil lang konti. Yeah, pero perfect pa din yan. Di ba? You're an artwork. And then he created that. And then that, 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 that is our flesh. Hello? Flesh. And then after that, that man has a soul. Remember, he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And what's the character of God? You know, your, this, your soul is your character. Your soul is your personality. And your soul and our soul is, is influenced by our religion, our family, our tradition, our culture, our environment, our education. That is who we are. That is, yeah, that is our character, our personality. But the personality of God is holy. Say it with me, holy. That's why when he created with us, originally we were created as holy people, like him. And then later on, what, what he did was this. He breathed life. He breathed life. And the man became a living being. You see, God created man with flesh. God created Adam with flesh. God created man with soul, our character, who is holy, no? Adam was holy. And with spirit, God breathed spirit in us. Thus, Adam became a living being. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed his, into his nostrils the breath of life. Say so it would be breath of life. And the man became a living being. God gave Adam a partner, of course. You know who, who his partner, who the partner of Adam is? Who? Yeah. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Ay, sorry po. Knock, knock. But then God gave everything he sees in the garden. He says, oh, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this. But this, do not eat. 
Do not eat. This tree, the the of the of uh, of uh, the tree of the knowledge of what is good, good and evil. Do not eat. See critical thinking. I was thinking, Lord, why did you put that tree there? Right? Yeah. If you did not put that tree there, and then we could be holy. Holy. Wala kang pera. You have no money. I give you money. You're holy. Right? Oh, yeah. You know, holy. No tinge of evil in our heart. But why? Did you ever talk thought about that? Hello? Did you ever ask God, why did you put that tree? Sana holy, holy kami ngayon. You know why? Because He created us in His image and likeness. He created us with sovereign will, freedom to choose. If you want temptation, John, how will you choose? Tama po ba? Am I making sense here? Yeah. Right? That's, that's why even the angels, he did not, you know, he did not command, made angels as robots. He, angels also gave them freedom to choose, and one third of them failed, chose to be with Satan. Now we have a freedom to choose. And then, but God says, if you eat of this, you will certainly die. He says, he says, if you, will, if you will eat of this, you will certainly die. And Adam failed. By the way, who sinned, Adam or Eve? Who, who, who ate? Sabi na, oh, Eve. Is it true that if you eat this fruit, you will die? <laughs> You know what's that, what he did? What said? Yeah, you know? No, even if you touch, God said, even if you touch it, you will die. See? Ignorance. That is not the command. Amen? They added something into the command. Mag-ingat po tayo. So, oh, be careful of what you hear. Listen. Do not add, do not deduct anything from the word. Yeah. The command was to eat. And they ate it, it, right? Ate it. And then Adam also ate it. Did you even ask, why did Adam eat it? Did you even ask that? Because, you know, so you, who, why did you eat it? You will die, you will die, you will die. Lord, please change. <laughs> Can right? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it's not my fault, Lord. It's hers. It's hers, Lord. That's what he did, right? It's her fault, right? Can you please, if she dies, please change. No, because he also partook of it. You know why? Because he loves Eve. Right? He loves Eve. Right? Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> So he did. But some but some but they did not die. They did not. Did they, they did not did not did not physically die. Their flesh and soul were intact. But the spirit died. What happened next? God was, you know, God was 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 uh, he was walking. He was walking. Where are you, Adam? Where are you, Adam? You see, God is all-knowing. He could have known where Adam is, right? He could have not sought him, right? But you know what happened? Because that spirit that God breathed into Adam died. That is what died. Are you with me? Parang internet na putol. Kaya hindi makita. And then, you know, it's like internet. Your internet was cut off. Then... You're disconnected from the world. And then that's why God knew it. You ate it, no? You ate it, right? And then from then on, men became independent from God. But God loves us so much. He loves us so much that he, even, he chose to speak to particular prophets. Spoke to Samuel, Nathan, all the major prophets, Isaiah, you know, uh, spoke Jeremiah, you know, sino pa? Yo, si Ezekiel, sino pa? Sino pa? Habakkuk, and a smile. Habakkuk, oh, bawal ang cook. Uh. <laughs> Bakit ba pumasok yun? <laughs> 
Yeah. And he spoke, he spoke to, to prophets. And then they have been God. Okay, okay, because I love you guys. If you sin, you burn offerings. No, burn offering. If you sin, one sin, burn one cow. You sin two sins, burn two cows. I'm just paraphrasing here. Huh? If you burn three, three things, you know, burn three cows. But what, are, what the, Jewish, the Jewish did, you know why? They, they, they sent three, three sins. They did not burn three cows. They burned six cows for their future sin. Advance. Para sabi nung isang pare, nagdang sabi nung, Father, forgive me for my sin. Oh, what is your sin, my son? Pornography. Oh, that's bad. Five, five absolution, five our father. The following day, oh, you're here again. Why? What's your sin? Pornography. What happened? Because somebody gave me CD. Okay, five, uh, our father. The following week, he's here again. Oh, what? what's your sin? Pornography. What? Why? Because the internet. I pressed a pornographic site. Okay, five, 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 five our father. And then the priest noticed it was taking him too long. Oh, praise God. No, probably he was so repentant. That was so long. He was asking God for forgiveness. And then after, after, after he had prayed, he went to the man. Yes, I know. You know, you took so long because you really repented and I am glad. And then the man says, Father, 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 is it okay? You know why? Because you told me five, I, uh, 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 I prayed ten. Because I will be absent next week. <laughs> the abuse of God's grace. Yes. The abuse of God's love. And that is why God gave us his last, his last ditch effort to share to you, to tell us that I love you. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to die for us. That is his last act of love, grace, and mercy to a fallen world. But men knew that there was God, that there is a God. That's why they, they built this Tower of Babel. Remember that? If you read the, 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 the Old Testament, Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel is their, it's their effort to reach out to God. And God says, no, this is not the way to reach out to God. This is the reason why. Because men knew that there is a creator, a higher being. That is why there are many religions right now. So many religions. Oh, I forgot about this. Sorry. Can I rewind? Okay. You see, God is spirit. And his worshipers must worship in the spirit. I'll take this up later. So, knowing this, we can actually say that we did not inherit the sin of Adam. But we inherited the dead spirit of Adam. Amen? The dead spirit of Adam. That is why this dead spirit has to be born again. I'll talk about that in a bit. Now, religion is what man says about God. We have created our own gods. In fact, there are more than acceptable. The, 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 that's why during that time there were Baals, totem, the, the Asherah poles, the golden calf, right? No, these are the proof that they know that there is a God. Today there are nearly four thousand recognized religions in the whole world. Imagine four thousand religions in the whole world, and seventy-five percent of people around the world believes in five of them. These are Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Major, major religion. But even with this major religion, each one of them has divisions. Hello? Divided. This is the work of the enemy who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus Christ prayed, Father, for Lord, Lord, I pray, Lord God, for those who will believe in me, that they will be united as one. Imagine Hinduism. Hinduism, even in Hinduism, there, there are millions, millions of gods. Amen? Oh, be careful, ha? Huh? Be careful. Baka nagbabaon kayo. If you eat your lunch in the office and you have baon, you know, and your baon is bulalo, your baon is caldereta, 
beef caldereta, beef bulalo. And then your supervisor is a Hindu. And then he comes. Oh, what are you eating? Tell them, Madam, I'm sorry. I eat your God. <laughs> don't, don't kill that fly. Why? Don't kill that cockroach. Why? He could be my grandfather. <laughs> crazy. God cre man created their own gods the way they wanted God to be. Are you still with me? <laughs> but whoever believes in me, Jesus Christ said, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within. Jesus is the only way. The only way. Sabi mong only way? Jesus is the only way, He's the only truth, He's the only life. No one comes to the Father except by Him. And why? And why? And, and Pastor, why, why out of the 4,000 religions you believe only in Christianity? You know why? Because out of this, all of the spiritual uh, world, world views, it's only the Bible. It was written 2,000 years ago. Written by eyewitnesses. And it's still very, very much applicable today. Each page of it. Amen? Amen? That's the reason why. And, that, and the second reason is this. I have experienced Jesus Christ in my life. Have you? He is the only one who, who, who rose up from the dead. The others, the others are zombies. If they rose up from the dead. Others are zombies. You see? Now, let's, let's, talk, let's, let's go back to Nicodemus. He says, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Before, I thought that, oh, born again is a church. Born again is a religion. Now, unless you are born again, you cannot, you cannot enter heaven. But, as I seek, as I prayed, as I asked for guidance, it was not so. Being born again is not a religion. It is when Jesus Christ, if you accept Jesus Christ, a born again spirit, we need to have a spirit, a born again spirit in us so that we can communicate with God because God is spirit. In John chapter 7, whoever believes in me, Jesus said, a scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Living water. That means living water to a dead spirit, that, that person. Right? But this means he meant the spirit. If you believe in Jesus, he will give you the spirit. A life-giving spirit. Whom those who believed in him were later to receive. He, uh, the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit was given to them after Jesus Christ ascended, right? Into heaven, right? In that small room, upper room, right? Only 10 of the disciples remained because Judas, not Judas, not Judas, no, Judas killed himself. And Thomas left them because of disappointment. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, don't leave the church if you're disappointed. Don't leave the church if you're disappointed with a brother, with a sister. Don't leave the church. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Jesus will never disappoint you. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, if there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man became a living being. The last Adam, who is Jesus Christ, is a life-giving spirit. Amen. Can, 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 you, can you just you know, absorb that truth? Adam with a spiritual body, but his spirit died because of his sin. But Jesus Christ gave his life for us to restore and give birth in us a born-again, life-giving spirit. We inherited the dead spirit of Adam. But we received a born again living spirit from Jesus Christ. And that was not easy. It comes with a premium. His life. He gave up his life for us. This is the context of the conversation of, the, of Nicodemus and Jesus. Unless you are born again, we cannot see the kingdom of God. 
And what is the kingdom of God here? The kingdom of God. Remember John the Baptist. John the Baptist, the voice into the, uh, uh, in the desert, he says, Repent for the kingdom of God is near. And he was to- pointing at who? Jesus Christ, his cousin. Even, even when, he, when they were in, in the tummy of Elizabeth and Mary and they met, he know he, he, John the Baptist, who was a child, already knew, felt the spirit in, 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 in Mary. He says, so the kingdom of God is Jesus Christ. So what is the big kingdom of God? What is the plan of Jesus? Why did God bring Jesus Christ? What is the mission of Jesus Christ? To save you and me. To save you and me. That is the plan of God. That is the mind of God. That is the plan of God. That is why we are wonderful, fearfully made. That is why we are God's workmanship, created in Jesus, kawangi si Jesus, reflecting Jesus' life, so that we may, uh, we are created in Jesus, and we 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 are given assignments. We were given assignments to do good works that was prepared for us in advance. You see, salvation is not just to free you from hell. Much more than that. Paul said, All have sinned and have, uh, no, have fallen short of the grace of God. And the grace of sin is eternal death. But the gift of God is eternal life with Him in, hev- in, in heaven only through Jesus Christ. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. And Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is salvation. Can you read that with me? This is salvation. salvation. Believe it. This is salvation. salvation. The love, grace, and mercy of God in action. Amen. Amen. Why do we need to be saved? Here, listen. Why do we need to be saved? We need to be saved because heaven and hell are real. Remember Lazarus and the rich man? With the, the, the story given by Jesus Christ. Jesus described how difficult it was to be in hell. Lazarus said, Lazarus said, Abraham, Abraham, please, please. He said, he said, he shouted, Father Abraham, have some pity. Send Lazarus over here to dip the, his finger in water and cool my tongue. I'm in anguish in these flames. That, diff, that was so difficult. Imagine, he says, a drop of water on my tongue will ease my pain. That Difficult in heaven. That was so difficult. No, heaven is real. A hell is real. That's difficult in hell. Hell is real because Jesus Christ also said so, right? Right? And also he said, he said also Jesus Christ says uh, uh, in John 14 verse 1 to 2 when he was taking, saying, saying goodbye. You no, know, goodbye. I'm about to go to his disciples. No, he was saying goodbye. He says, he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house are many rooms, many mansions. If that were not so, would, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? you Heaven is a special place. Amen. Heaven is a special place. To those who are faithful and sincere, <coughs> who bring souls to Christ, you see, a mansion is prepared for you. But those who are safe, safe, and seated, townhouse ka lang. <laughs> but those who were saved at before, before, the, before they die, you see? Galing ni Lord, you know? Even before you die, if you confess, you will be saved. You know, even before you die, remember the thief? The thief, right? He was saved. But wala siya ginawa. No? But if you do that, partition ka lang. <laughs> Hello? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, gusto mo ba, partition ka lang? <laughs> because I believe heaven is a special place. There's a special place in heaven also, right? So because heaven and hell are real. Next, why do we need to be saved? We need to be saved from this fallen world. This fallen world. We need to be saved from it. And finally, we need to be saved so that others will be saved too. The purpose of your salvation is not only for you, it's for others too. Ayon yung tanggapin. 
The purpose of your salvation is not only for you. It's for others too. Inulit ko na. Ayun. <laughs> but how can we be saved? Ito, burahan na to. We'll erase so many notions. Okay? Are you ready? Are you, critical thinking? Tell your seatmate, critical thinking. Huh? Because we have learned so many things, no? In, in uh, 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 Outside. <clears throat> how then can we be saved? Not by works. Not by works. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Not by works. Many people say, many people think that, oh, if I, you know, I was talking about, about three days ago, to, I was sharing to a lady, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, I forgot about her name. I was talking about, about, uh, about salvation. You see, I talk about salvation to anyone. I talk about salvation. If you die today, where will you go? I don't know. You know but I pray, but I pray. And then says, how, how, but you know, you, you can be sure. How, how, how? You know, I cannot be sure. But what I'll do, I think this is what, the, what we need to do. I am going to do good works. That's what she said. Do good, do good, do good, do good. But that will not bring you to heaven. That will not save you. Amen? Because even politicians do good works. And they make Kodak, Kodak moments. Right? Not by church membership or affiliations. Nor by any... The church cannot save you. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So if, you, if your church tells you that, if there is a church in the Philippines, by the way, and it's now spreading like wildfire in the world, telling them if you're not a member of this church, you will not be saved. In fact, if Jesus Christ comes and you're not inside the church, you will not be saved. And there's somebody there in Davao telling, me, telling them that I am the way. No, if you want to go to heaven, I need to sign. Aba? May gate pass pa. You pastors, you have to come to me. I will sign. I will not sign you. You see? Crazy. Not by church membership. It's not by affiliations, no? Some, some, some people, you know, they protect their, they protect their, their religion. They protect their religion. Ah, kayo mga burn, born again, burn again kayo. And they protect their religion. They forgot the essence, the very person, why we are saved. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And not because you are good. Not because you are good. We watched the movie. And then there was this guy, um, head of the mafia. He was in the church. He was praying fervently. He was so praying to God. He was praying. And then we, when he go, comes out, bodyguard came, comes in. Let's kill all of them. Not because you're in church. You're saved. Not because you're seated there. You're saved. Salvation is a personal decision. Amen. Jesus Christ says, you know, good, good, good Lord, good teacher. And then Jesus Christ says, you know, why do you call me good? And then Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. Critical thinking. Lord, that, does that mean you're not good? When you said that, why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. God, Lord, did you, did you just, just say that, that you're, that you're not good? Yes, he was not. You know why? Because he knew that he will be carrying your sin and my sin on that cross. This is the reason why when Jesus Christ says, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Because Father, the Father turned his back to, uh, to, uh, from Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ was carrying sin. God cannot. He hates sin. He doesn't like sin. Amen. He cannot compromise. That's why he gave, son, carry them. And then he says, it is finished. 
Not because you're good, you go to heaven. And finally, not because of your family. Oh, my, my father and my mother, they're pastors, I'll go to heaven. Oh, we always go to church, you go to heaven. Oh, my, my, my tito, you know my tito, they're priests. And my, my, my tita, you know my tita, they're nuns. I go to heaven. You see? No. Acts chapter 16. Remember Paul and Silas? Hello, I'm still here? Yeah. Paul and Silas, you know, he, 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 they, they, they were brought to, to jail because they rebuked a bad spirit. And then they were shackled, they were beaten, they were shackled, uh, their, their, their feet were tied. They were so in, in, in anguish, but what did they do? How did they respond? They sing, huh? they sing psalms and hymns. They sang psalms and hymns. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've been through, use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you. You know, they were singing and the prisoners were listening. And you know what happened? You know what happened next? Earthquake. Ang earthquake dun lang. The earthquake only there and at the prison and 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 the gates were opened. Their shackles were, were, were they were freed. And then the the, the guard he was, they were he was so afraid because the, they thought that the, all of the prisoners escaped. He wanted to kill himself. But Paul inside said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait. We're still here. We're still here. Mm, chill. We're still here." And then the guard were amazed. And then he says, how can we, how, how, my, how, how can I be saved? And they replied, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. You and your household, don't stop there. That is a promise, but don't stop there. Read the next. Then they spoke the word. They spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately he and, his, and all his household were baptized. Instant ang pagpapa, no, change, right? And then the jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God. He and his whole household. This promise, if you are accepted Jesus Christ, you will be saved. You and, uh, and, uh, and, you and your household doesn't stop there. You have to evangelize your family. You have to share the word of God to your family. And I speak to the fathers who are here right now. You always, you know, we, the, our first ministry is our family. That doesn't mean you work hard to, 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 to give money on the table, food on the table. Work hard for them. Work hard, work hard. No. When you say the first ministry, fathers, your first ministry is, is, is your family, is that you evangelize them. Teach them how to read the Bible. Teach them how to pray. Show them faith. Don't tell them faith. Show them faith. Show them faith. Show them faith. Show them faith. And how do you do that? In times of temptation, trials, you know, sufferings, show them faith. Believe in God. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Never align what you think is right. Show them. That is the first ministry. And then you will be saved. I accepted Jesus Christ. I became a changed man. My brothers and sisters, they were so glad. My sister, you know, every time I, when I'm drunk, you know, I, I threw bottles at her. My sister, my older sister, when I'm drunk, I'm bad. I was bad. I'm not good when I'm angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. That's why they called me Incredible Hulk during that time. <laughs> you know, my sister told me, it's okay, Willie. Really. You know, really, you, you, uh, you, you change, but you also change your religion. You don't have Mama Mary. You see, we have Mama Mary. We love Mama Mary, right? Yeah. Right? We love Mama Mary. We adore her, right? But we don't worship her. Yes. Right? Because even my, Mama Mary worshipped Jesus Christ. And my brother, my brother says, you know, really, okay, it's okay, you change, no? My and then he said, but you know what? If Mommy told us, to worship this tree, I will die worshiping this tree. That's my older brother. 
And then he gave, I always gave them Bibles. Don't stop giving me the Bible. This is only written by man. Stop. Prayed for them. Lived consistently. Showed them how to live like Christ. After 23 years, they all got born again. They received Jesus Christ in their life. Even my two brothers, before they passed, they accepted Jesus Christ. Even my father, before they passed, they accepted Jesus Christ. Amen? So this is not automatic. You have to show. Amen? You have to show. Right? So every time your mom calls, you know, don't shout at your mom. Don't be angry at your mom. Problem na naman! Ano po yan? Padala ko lang, yung kulang pa. Mama naman, ano mo pinagbibili mo? You know what you do? Ma, I don't have the money now. But can we pray? Amen? That's how to show. Right? Scripture taught us so many things. We are all sinners. We, con we are condemned to die in hell. God loves us and he gave us his only begotten son. This is the truth, right? Yeah. Jesus loves us as the father loves us. He gave up his life while we were still sinners. We are more valuable than our mistakes. We are saved by grace, not by works. Complete obedience is the proof of our love for Jesus Christ. We shall all face the white throne judgment. Talked about, I'm going to talk about this now. And we will be judged by the father. And when we enter heaven's gates, we will face the judgment seat of Christ. The judgment seat of Christ is the second judgment where we will be given our our rewards and then and then salvation is free but we need to protect and work out our salvation rewards are earned and we need to protect our crown because the sent, satan is relentless he will try he will try his best he will, will, will be working out 24 7 to take you back to his fold amen you see in the early 15th century listen ito, ito teaching uli ha in the early 15th century, ano 15th century? 1500s. Ngayon nga, 2000s na ngayon, di ba? Right? In the early 15th, there were the two prominent reformists who has differing thoughts about salvation. And this has divided the church. Ang sabi nung isa, you will lose your salvation. You can lose your salvation. Ang sabi nung isa, you cannot lose your salvation. If you have heard about Calvin and Arminius, these are the guys. Yeah, and then they fought about it. No, this is what I take. You will lose your salvation. No, you will not lose your salvation. Until now, they're divided because of that. And do you think this is about God? No. Because Jesus Christ said in his prayer in John 17, my prayer is for them to be united, not divided. We need to be united. There's a crucial event that they have, for, uh, they have did, they, they did not see. They were talking about salvation. But they forgot about judgment. These are two events. Salvation and judgment day are two events in a person's lives. Amen? Gusto nyo next week na lang uli. Matagal na ata ako nag teach Okay lang? Tuloy ko ba? Netutuloy ko? I'm going to proceed. Ha? Huh? Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now, now, the apostle Paul assured us that if we declare with our mouths, Jesus Lord, we will be saved and believe in this resurrection, we will be saved, right? The apostle John also assured us of salvation if we believe in Jesus Christ, right? But my friends, again, if we only watch the preview of a movie, it will not be enough to understand the whole story. There's another Another event after salvation, and this is Judgment Day. If you carefully read the Bible, there are words such as blot out. Say it with me, blot out. Blot, black out, huh? Blot, B-L-O-T. Blot out and erase. Say it with me again, erase. 
Now, these are very two, 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 two distinct words no, that I always read in the Bible. In the Old Testament, magikita po natin yan dun sa Exodus chapter 32 when, when, when Moses went out to Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments, right? He stayed there for a long time. Na inip, no? The, 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 the people, uh, the Israelites became impatient. The OIC, the officer in charge, who was the OIC? Aaron. Coerced them. You know, probably uh, Moses is already dead. You know, why don't we make, let's make our own God. No? And then they took out all the, the gold and then, and then melted it. And then suddenly a shape of a calf came out. And they worship it. They worship the calf. And then he, he, here comes Moses no, with the ten tablets. Ten tablets. And then they saw the reveling and the worshiping of the idols. And he was so mad that he broke the tablets. Do you know that there are two tablets? He broke it. He was so mad. The Ten Commandments. And that broken tablet, somebody picked it. Somebody picked it. Kaya lang, there is a line that was missing. Yung commandment number two. You shall not worship idols. It has to be ten. Hindi nila makita yung two. Nakita nila yung, te, yung ten. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife and, and your neighbor's uh, properties. So ginawa nilang yung wife nine. Ten naman. No, I'm sharing this with you because you have to know the truth. Amen po ba? I'm not, I'm not laughing at them. I, I, you know, uh, I used to be like that. I used to be. But God set me free. The word has set me free. And then Moses went up again. He asked God for forgiveness. He says, he says, Lord, 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 please do not erase their name. Erase my name instead. You know how what, 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 what uh, God says? The Lord replied to Moses, whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. I will blot out of my book. Now go and lead the people to the place I spoke of and my angel will go before you. However, then when the time comes, however, when the time comes for me to punish, I will punish them for their sins. Say it with me, judgment day. Judgment day. That uh, judgment day. That's in the New Old, Old Testament. In the New Testament, in Matthew 6, when Jesus Christ prayed, you know, taught us the Lord's prayer, our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. You know that? You memorize that, right? And in verse, in verse 14, it says, If you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sin. Uy, did you ask about that? Did you ever think about that? I thought if, if Jesus Christ, uh, if you accept Jesus Christ, you know, we will be, we will be, uh, we will be uh, uh, saved. But what is this? My Father will not forgive my sins. And then, in the book of Revelation... In the book of Revelation, in this church named Sardis, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 4 to 5. Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not sold their clothes. They will walk with me, dress in white, for they are worthy. These are, these, these are ministers working in church. But they work, they work, they work without Jesus. They work for their own popularity. Worship leaders who became very viral in network, no? Very popular. But Jesus was not in their life. You see that, right? Right? The one who is victorious will be like them. Be dressed in white. I will never, I will never, I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life. But will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels. Grabe po yun. Imagine mo if, you know, that's, the, that's one thing that we need, I, I desire. That when I enter, when I enter, Heaven's Gate, gustong gusto niya na, na diba, yung, yung graduation, di ba? Ano ang tunog ng graduation? Tan, tan, taran. Yan, dan, taran, 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 taran. Mr. Wilfredo Ricaprente. Oh, di ba? Yeah, di ba? Picture, picture. Tassel, di ba? Ganun, di ba? You know, when we go and we graduate here, Ang gusto nating maramdam, the man will be acknowledged. Our name will be acknowledged. Hey, angels, give it up! Papi Willie! What? 
<laughs> the angels will will cry out and then clap, clap their hands, right? Yeah. He, he will, and then, Father, Father, Father. Siya yung papi pogi. Huh? <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Amen? Amen? <laughs> I'd like to share with you the great white throne judgment. We spoke about salvation, right? And then judgment. So let's talk about, you know, how to be saved. Amen, Papa? Right? And now we talk about judgment day, the great white throne judgment. In Revelation chapter 20, it says, Then I saw a great white throne. And him who was seated on it, the earth and the heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. Who was seated there? And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Say it with me, books. Books were opened. Another book was opened. Oh, dalawa pala yung libro. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. Teka, explain ko po ito. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books, and books were opened. And another book was opened. I thought there's only one book in heaven, which is the Lamb's book of life. This is where, you, when you accept Jesus Christ, your names will be registered in the Lamb's book of life. Amen po ba? Not because of your work or, 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 or religious affiliation or church or that you, because of your good or your family. It's because you accepted Jesus Christ. When you accepted Jesus Christ, your name are, are registered in the Lamb's Book of Life. Tanong mo sa katabi mo, registered ka na ba? Registered ka na ba? Seriously, tanong mo sa katabi mo, are you already registered? Uh, eschatological event po ito, huh? uh, end time event. No? And I saw the great, the, the books were open. Books were open. Uh, pag, listen, listen, listen. Listen. Kasi po, nagtanong na naman ako. Nagtanong na naman ako kay God. Sobra talaga matanong ako, no? Sabi ko, Lord, akala ko ba, our salvation is free. Bakit ka, kaya ma, the dead were, bakit, bakit ako majajudge according to what I have done? Akala ko ba free? Hello, are you with me? Are you, are you journey, traveling with me now? Di ba, nagtanong ka, bakit nakala ko ba free? E ba, bakit kayo, bakit kayo i-judge ako? Listen, Isaiah, sabi ni Isaiah, though your sins are as red as scarlet, I can turn them white as snow. Right? That was God prophesying to, uh, through Isaiah. And then many years after, Jesus Christ was born. And then Jesus Christ gave up his life. And through his, the blood that was shed on the cross, your sins are washed away. Your sins are washed away. Amen. Because of Jesus Christ. Listen. And then in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says there, Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. The past has gone. Behold, the new has come. Rewind tayo. Di ba? We, 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 have, we have inherited a dead spirit. Tama po ba? Right? And then when you receive Jesus Christ, a born again spirit is, uh, is given to you. Tama po ba? Right? So when you accept Jesus Christ, there's a baby spirit in you. A baby spirit. That's why you have to take care of the babies. So you must take care of the babies. Huh? We take care of the babies. So what's happened next is that in, he in heaven, you know, there's another teaching that, that, that the Lord has negated. The thought that all of us will be saved. Who here thinks, who here knows that all of humanity will be judged? Ako lang. Wala tarin kayo opinion. No, the, all of, we thought that everyone will be judged, right? Wrong! Wrong! Listen to this. Listen to this. The sea gave up the dead and, there, uh, and, and, and the dead that were in it and death and haze gave up the dead that were in them. Sino yun? Sino yung mga And each person was judged according to what they had done. And the dead and haze were thrown to the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life <coughs> was thrown into the lake of fire. Tignan niyo na po. If you did not receive Jesus Christ, your names are not written in the love's book of life. Where do you go? Derecho. So that means you're already prejudged. Alright? So not all 
will be judged, will face judgment. Because some or many are already prejudged. Sa yung nasa hades at sinasabi, they will go to heaven. But who will be judged? Though, uh, to help pala. Who will be judged? Us who accepted Jesus Christ. That's why there's a word blot out. And what? You know, when, when, when you were, when you did not receive Jesus Christ, your story in heaven, madumi, full of sin. Tama po ba? But God loves us that he gave his only begotten son. Isaiah said, though your sins are as red as scarlet, I can turn them white as snow. Paul says, if anyone be in Christ, the new creation, the past is gone. Behold, the new has come. That old record is gone now. Erased by the blood of Jesus. And now you are given a new book. A story of your being a Christian. And that will be judged. Teka muna, teka muna, pastor. Ibig sabihin ba, pag nagkasala ako, buburahin ang aking pangalan? No! We are still in this world, though we are not of this world, right? And we will still sin. Listen, listen. Listen for, listen. Now, don't say, so in your books, nagkasala ka. That doesn't mean, buburahin ka. Remember this, sinabi nga pala, by the way, sinabi ni, sinabi ni, uh, ni Jesus Christ, no? Sabi ni Jesus Christ, not all who said to call to me, Lord, Lord, no? Will enter the kingdom of God. You call me Lord, Lord, and you're still a drug Lord. Mga ganun. Di ba? Hindi ka naman nagbago. Di ba? Pero paano yan? So may bago ka ng libro ngayon. No? Your press book as a Christian. Now you sin. That doesn't mean ibig mo sabihin yun. Mabubura na yung pangalan ko. No! If you sin and then you repent, you struggled, but you repent. That is such a beautiful story. A story of victory in Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. Do you, do you get what I'm saying here? Right? You will be judged. Because not all who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Write a good story in heaven. A good story is not just, you know, you're being good, you know, good, good. Even your sin will be turned out to be a good story if you surrender that to Jesus and be changed. Am I making sense here really, really, really? Yeah. Huh? So it's important. Salvation and judgment is important. And by the way, after we entered, alimbawa, you know, pi, ang napaka, napaka, nakakalungkot. Yung habang binabasa mo, pinapakita sa'yo, when, when your, your books are being shown to you, and then your name started to fade. Oh, wait, 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 sorry na po, sorry na, sorry na, Lord. Sige na. Finished. You already have done it. Amen? Amen? But, you know, your name started to glow. Ooh, started to glow. That's why mga anak, you know, prepare. When you face the judgments, you will be ashamed. Or unashamed? Will we be excited? Or afraid? Amen? So take care. Take care of that book. Tell your seatmate, take care of that book. Take care of that book. Okay? At kung hindi ka sigurado, if you're not sure that you're heaven bound, na biyahing langit ka, if you're not sure, you are so blessed sapagkat may pagkakataon ka pa ngayon, we are blessed because we have, we still have, God gave you life today. You still have an opportunity to start all over again and start a journey going to heaven. Do it now. Be honest with yourself. If you continue to compromise and justify the sins you have committed, chances are you accepted Jesus but have not yet truly surrendered everything to His care. Accepting Him is different from loving Him. Accepting is the decision of the mind. Listen. Accepting is a decision of the mind. Loving Him is a decision of the heart and soul. And as you hear the words today, harden not your hearts. Love Jesus totally. From the heart. 
and, con and, and, and commit yourself to a journey heavenward. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Salvation is a journey. The narrow road is the path we choose. Holiness is a lifestyle we shall live. Judgment is our destination. Heaven is our reward. Amen. So if you're here today, can we all stand up? Again, an opportunity given to us. If you're here today, I don't know you, but God knows you. I don't know. I don't know if you caught the whole message. I don't know if you have connected the puzzle. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, connected the puzzle mo. There's so many questions. Connected na ba yung puzzle natin? But if you're here today, you know, this is an opportunity for us once again. Now that we know that you're not only saved so that you will go to heaven. You are also saved to be freed, protected from the evil of this world. And you are saved to save others too. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. This teaching, Lord God, scriptural teaching that you have, you left behind, Lord God, such a powerful book so that we may come to know you Know your heartbeat, Lord God. Know your mind, your plans. Thank you, Father. And today, thank you for this opportunity. We would like to, from our heart, rededicate our life to you. And to those who have not yet surrendered their life to Jesus, this is the day that the Lord has made for you. Can, we all, can you follow me with this prayer? And as you pray this together with me, pray it from your heart. Mean it when you say it. Mean it when you say it. Say, Father, thank you for this wonderful day. You gave me life. You blessed me with another day and an opportunity to accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you're the Son of God who came from heaven. Dwell, dwell, you, dwelt, you lived with us. Gave up your life to save me from my sins. Save me from hell. Save me from this world. And to use me for your glory, honor, and praise. Jesus, you are my Lord. Holy Spirit, I give you full control over my life. And Lord, I pray that with ACCI family, I shall grow in the knowledge of who you are, that I will know the kingdom of God, the plan, the heart, and your plan, Lord God, and the mind of God. Thank you, Father, for this salvation. We once again offer our life to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lord, thank you, Lord, for once again we will re be reminded about what you have done for us. We are here because of what you have done. You gave up your son, Jesus. And Jesus, thank you. Thank you for giving up your life for us. Sanctify, Lord God, this cup and this, this bread representing your body that was nailed on the cross and your blood that was shed on the cross. And we receive this now with thanksgiving. Can we all not give it now? In Jesus' name, amen.